Hey, looking good. What is all of this? The world famous Marwin, Mark's art installation. So that's the guy. Yeah, it's right up there. Some Nazi thugs jumped him. It's a miracle he survived. I was a hell of a good artist, and now I can barely write my name. So my dolls have to tell the story. At your service, mademoiselle. I just moved in across the street. I love all the details. <gasps> Who are they? They are Nazis torturing Hoagie. Why? Because he's different. The women of Marwin protect me. You are saved. But toast, just for you. Are all of the dolls people you know? Yeah. Everyone has a place here in Marwin. I just moved in across the street. So are you going to go to the sentencing? You're a suffering human being. I want these guys to get more than just a slap on the wrist. It's important that you're there to look your assailant straight in the eye. I'm not really sure how to do this. When are you gonna man up and put an end to this crap? What are you talking about? We're one and the same, pal. If I can be a hero, so can you. Maybe the dolls should stay in the car. I never go anywhere without my backup. Hell. Gotta embrace that pain. I believe I'm waiting long enough. It's the only way Mark's gonna heal. I got your back, Hoagie. Bottoms up, girls. What do you think this is? The Indy 500? you yelling for more gumbo no no gumbo you gotta love the pain pain is our rocket fuel i have my art and i have my friends i have hope and i'll be okay hell yeah that's kind of violent but at least the nazis are dead the first half of 2018 has seen some great titles released from Universal Pictures, but it just keeps getting better in the second half, which includes the highly anticipated sequel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Ryan Gosling and director Damien Chazelle are back together again for First Man, the Peter Jackson produced fantasy adaptation Mortal Engines, a brand new but still untitled film from Robert Zemeckis, a new Purge movie and much more. The slate also includes the Ellie Roth adventure film The House with the Clock in the Wall and the huge blockbuster explosive actioner Skyscraper led by Dwayne Johnson. So stay with me as we have culled together the synopsis, cast and crew list for each film, presented in order of release, so you can get an overview of some of the big movies headed our way for the second half of 2018 from Universal Pictures. First up, we have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, releasing in theatres on June 22. Now, it's one of the most popular and successful franchises in cinema history. This all-new instalment sees the return of your favourite characters, and obviously dinosaurs, along with new breeds that are more terrifying than ever before. Welcome to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, it's been three years after the Jurassic World theme park was closed down. Owen and Claire returned to the Isla Nubla to save the dinosaurs when they learned that a once dormant volcano on the island is active and threatening to extinguish all life there. Now along the way Owen sets out to find Blue, his lead raptor, and discovers a conspiracy that could disrupt the nature order of the entire planet. Life has found a way again. Stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard return alongside executive producers Steven Spielberg and Colin Trevorrow. Pratt and Howard are joined by stars James Cromwell, Ted Levine, Justice Smith, Geraldine Chaplin, Daniel Pineda, Toby Jones, Rafi Spall, while B.D. Wong and Jeff Goldblum reprise their roles. Now directed by J.A. Buona, the epic action adventure is written by Jurassic World director Trevorrow and co-director Derek Connolly. Producers Frank Marshall and Pat Crowley once again partner with Spielberg and Trevorrow in leading the team of filmmakers for this stunning instalment. The first purge in theatres on July 4th. Behind every tradition lies a revolution. Next Independence Day witness the rise of our country's 12 hours of annual lawlessness. Welcome to the movement that began as a simple experiment. 
the first purge. To push the crime rate below 1% for the rest of the year, the new Founding Fathers of America test the sociological theory that vents aggression for one night in one isolated community. But when the violence of oppressors meets the rage of the marginalised, the contagion will explode from the trial city borders and spread across the nation. The first purge is directed by Gerald McMurray, working from a screenplay, once again written by James DeMonico, and stars Yolande Noel, Lex Scott Davis, Joy Hun Wade, Luna Lauren Valez, and Marissa Tomei. Another great movie you can't miss is Skyscraper in theatres on July 13. Now, global icon Dwayne Johnson leads the cast of legendary Skyscraper as former hostage rescue team leader and US war veteran Will Ford, who now assesses security for skyscrapers. On assignment in China, he finds the tallest, safest building in the world suddenly ablaze, and he's been framed for it. A wanted man on the run, Will must find those responsible, clear his name, and somehow rescue his family who's trapped inside the building. Off the fire line. Hmm. Now, written and directed by Rawson Marshall Thurber, the 3D action thriller also stars Nev Campbell, Pablo Schreiber, Byron Mann, Hannah Quinlivan, Noah Taylor, Roland Mola, and Chin Han. Mamma Mia, here we go again in theatres on July 20. Now get ready to sing and dance, laugh and love all over again. Ten years after Mamma Mia, you're invited to return to the magical Greek island of Kolokari in an all new original musical based on the song of Abba. Reprising their roles from Mamma Mia, the movie are Meryl Streep as Donna, Julie Walters as Rosie, and Christine Baranski as Tanya. Amanda Seyfried and Dominic Cooper reunite as Sophie and Skye, while Pierce Brosnan, Stellan Skarsgård, and Colin Firth return to play Sophie's three possible dads, Sam, Bill, and Harry. Also with the new cast additions include Lily James. As the film goes back and forth, in time to show how relationships forged in the past resonate in the present, James will play the role of young Donna. Filling the roles of young Rosie and young Tanner are Alexia Davies and Jessica Keenan. Win. Young Sam will be played by Jeremy Irvine, while young Bill is Josh Dillon and young Harry is Hugh Skinner. The house with a clock in its walls in theatres on September 21. The most fantastical events occur in the most unexpected places. Jack Black and Kate Blanchett star in the house with a clock in its walls from Amblin Entertainment. The magical adventure tells the spine-tingling tale of 10-year-old Lewis, old Vaccaro, who goes to live with his uncle in a creaky old house with a mysterious tick-tocking heart. But his new town sleepy facade jolts to life with a secret world of warlocks and witches when Lewis accidentally awakens the dead. Based on the beloved children's novel written by John Balaz and illustrated by Edward Gorey, The House with a Clock in Its Walls is directed by Master Frightener Ellie Roth and co-stars Colm McLaughlin, Colin Camp, Renee Elise Goldsberry, Vanessa Ann Williams, Lorenzo Izzo and Sunny Sulji. Night School in Theatres on September 28. Star Kevin Hart and producer Will Packer, who partnered for the hit Ride Along and Think Like a Man series, bring their signature style to night school. The comedy from director Malcolm D. Lee, who directed Girls Trip, follows a group of misfits who are forced to attend adult classes in the long shot chance they'll pass the GED exam. Co-stars Tiffany Haddish, Rob Riggle, Taron Killam, Romy Malko join Hart on screen. First Man in Theatres on October 12. On the heels of their six-time Academy Award-winning smash La La Land, Oscar-winning director Damon Chazelle and star Ryan Gosling re-team for Universal Pictures' First Man. The riveting story of NASA's mission to land a man on the moon, focusing on Neil Armstrong and the years 1961 to 1969. A visceral first-person account based on the book by James R. Hansen, the movie will explore the sacrifices and the cost on Armstrong and of the nation of one of the most dangerous missions in history. Teaming up with Gosling, Claire Foy, Jason Clark, Carl Chandler, Patrick Fugit, John Bernthrall, Corey Stroll and Pablo Schreiber. Okay now here's one you definitely can't miss 
Halloween in theatres on October 19. Jamie Lee Curtis returns to her iconic role as Laurie Gustrode, who comes to her final confrontation with Michael Myers, the masked figure, who has haunted her since she narrowly escaped his killing spree on Halloween night four decades ago. Now, Master of Horror John Carpenter executive produces and serves as creative consultant on this film, joining forces with cinema's current leading producer of horror, Jason Blum. Inspired by Carpenter's classic, filmmakers David Gordon Green and Danny McBride crafted a story that carves a new path from the events in the landmark 1978 film. Green also directs. Now starring alongside Curtis are Judy Greer, Andy Matichak, Will Patton, Virginia Garden, Nick Castle and Omar J. Dorsey. Dr. Zeus is the Grinch in theatres on November 9. For their eighth fully animated feature, Illumination and Universal Preachers present The Grinch. Based on Dr. Zeus's beloved holiday classic, The Grinch, it tells the story of a cynical grump who goes on a mission to steal Christmas, only to have his heart changed by a young girl's generous holiday spirit. Funny, heartwarming and visually stunning, it's a universal story about the spirit of Christmas and the indomitable power of optimism. Now, Benedict Cumberbatch lends his voice to the infamous Grinch who lives a solitary life inside a cave on Mount Crumper with only his loyal dog Max for company. With a cave rigged with inventions and contraptions for his day-to-day -day needs, the Grinch only sees his neighbours in Whoville when he runs out of food. Each year at Christmas, they disrupt his tranquil solitude with their increasingly bigger, brighter and louder celebrations. When the Who's declare they are going to make Christmas three times bigger this year, the Grinch realises there is only one way for him to gain some peace and quiet. He must steal Christmas. To do so, he decides he will pose as Santa Claus on Christmas Eve, even going so far as to trap a lackadaisical misfit reindeer to pull his sleigh. Meanwhile, down in Whoville, Cindy Lou Who, a young girl overflowing with holiday cheer, plots with her gang of friends to trap Santa as he makes Christmas Eve rounds so that she can thank him for her help for her overworked single mother. As Christmas approaches, however, her good natured scheme threatens to collide with the Grinch's more nefarious one. Will Cindy Lou achieve her goal of finally meeting Santa Claus? Will the Grinch succeed in silencing the Who's holiday cheer once and for all? Mmm, stay tuned, you'll have to go and see it. An as yet untitled Robert Zemeckis project is in theatres on November 21. Academy Award winning filmmaker Robert Zemeckis directs Steve Carell in the moving true story of one broken man's fight as he discovers how artistic imagination can restore the human spirit. The screenplay for the project was written by Carolyn Thompson and Zemeckis. Now also starring in the drama is Leslie Mann, Marit Weaver, Elsa Gonzalez, Gwendolyn Christie, Janelle Monet, Leslie Zemeckis, Diane Kruger and Neil Jackson. Johnny English Strikes Again. In theatres on November 30, Johnny English Strikes Again is the third instalment of the Johnny English comedy series with Rowan Atkinson returning as the much-loved accidental secret agent. The new adventure begins when a cyber attack reveals the identity of all active undercover agents in Britain, leaving Johnny English as the Secret Service's last hope. Called out of retirement, English dives headfirst into action with the mission to find the master hacker as a man with few skills and analogue methods. Johnny English must overcome the challenges of modern technology to make this mission a success. Joining Atkinson for the comedy are Ben Miller, Olga Kurilenko, Emma Thompson and Jake Lacey. And finally, Mortal Engines in theatres on December 14. Now, Mortal Engines is the startling new epic adventure adaptation from the award-winning book series by Philip Reeve and directed by Oscar-winning visual effects artist Christian Rivers. Joining Rivers are The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy's three-time award-winning filmmakers Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyens, who have penned the screenplay. Now, the plot is... Thousands of years after civilization was destroyed by a cataclysmic event, humankind has adapted a new way of living has evolved. Gigantic moving cities now roam the earth, ruthlessly preying upon small attraction towns. Tom Natsworthy, Robert Sheehan, who hails from a lower tier of the great attraction city of London, finds himself fighting for his own survival after he encounters the dangerous fugitive Hester Shaw, Hera Hilmar. Now, two opposites whose paths should never have crossed 
forge an unlikely alliance that is destined to change the course of the future. Starring in the movie are Hugo Weaving, Hera Hilma, Robert Sheehan, Jai Hai, Ronan Rafferty, Lila George, Patrick Malahide, and Stephen Lang. So there you have it, the amazing movie slate from Universal that will keep you entertained well into the new year. Now, what movie are you most looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, we post new videos every day, so subscribe and click the notification bell to always be updated so you don't miss a thing.